What would you consider him, E? Just a a, a real cat, a, a cat that, that a real n- Yeah. Why yellow not not categorized as a real n- in a in a culture of Dallas, Texas? That's all I'm gonna say. Why do we not look at Yellow Beezy as a certified real? N- because when he was going through his shit, he never cried about it. He never bitched about it. He never went to the internet about it. And the catch is, we look at him as he didn't fell off. He a whole ass nigga. He soft. He light skinned. That sound like y'all hate that man. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. You feel like 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 when it come down to the artists that you see that kind of disintegrate in the Dallas market. I think it working like like with Yellow. Like a lot of people say Yellow fell off. I don't think Yellow fell off. It's been a few people when that meeting was called. You heard a lot of people come out and say, because "Why they, would he put a meeting they together they like they that?" Have, because at the end of the day, it make it look like he let's coming go, back. Let's, let's go like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm a, I'm a big advocate for for all the guys who in a, who was in the the big four. And if y'all don't know who the big four is, 2015, it was Yellow Beezy, Mo3, Trap Boy, and Maserati A. That was the big four. You know what I'm saying? And I was, at that time, NWA came out. So it was straight out of Dallas. We was the four, four, the four, D, the four artists, and I was the, the Dre. Because I knew what was going on. Everybody around the Ticketmaster, block, uh, block the Block, uh, God damn me, uh, I'm missing some names. I apologize if I don't say your name. I love to shout people out because they love that shit. Uh, God damn me, uh, he, uh, the mixtape DJ. God damn me, bro, I can't, real, uh, uh, DJ Real. So they was behind the scenes and we was going to be the five guys. Whether you know it or not, whether you know it or not, dog, those artists is together, like, even though that's nasty, it's the older culture. It's the more seasoned culture. Bro, Yella had to do what he had to do as far as making it known because Yella didn't have a voice with social media. He had to sit down with people. So he never did interact with social media. He ne- but the catch is, when you... Well, in Dallas. This is... All right, boom, I'm finna say this. I don't know how this gonna go, but when you're dealing with street shit and people run to the internet, what do they call it? If I'm in the middle of street shit and I go to the internet, Snitch, isn't it? goofy. It's called whatever vocabulary you want to use. I ain't seen y'all saying it, right? Mm-hmm. When Yellow was going through his his shit, did he ever go to the internet? No. Not about the situation. He got asked about it on Breakfast Club and other places that he went. Did uh, he ever talk about it? No. So take Yellow out the picture. A nigga in some street shit. And he never talk about it on the internet and you know he in some street shit. He didn't got popped before anything. What would you consider him? It'll, it'll be like he's a, What would you consider him, E? Just a a, a real cat. A, a cat that that's a real nigga. Business. Yeah. Why yellow not not categorized as a real nigga in a in a, in a culture of Dallas, Texas? That's all I'm gonna say. Why do we not look at Yellow Beezy as a certified real nigga? Because when he was going through his shit, he never cried about it. He never bitched about it. He never went to the internet about it. And the catch is, we look at him as he didn't fell off. He a whole ass nigga. He soft. He light skinned. That sound like y'all hate that man. Wow. Yeah. So but you, if, if it, it's not Yellow Bees, if it's any other nigga in the streets and he do what Yellow did, he never spoke on it. He never went to the podcast and gossip about it. He will be classified Bobby Smurda, a real nigga. But didn't he, I, I think, don't he get the love like when he go out and do shows or if he show he up do. people, but people I'm talking, show up for I'm him. talking about the internet. The internet. The internet. Because the catch but, is... But how can you expect the internet to to show you love they when you don't up, they, when they you don't really show up to the internet to even you not you don't have a character in it so he don't My really cat, he shouldn't even cat, care he shouldn't even care about what care. the internet thinks this, this is not, I don't think he does no this is not him I'm just asking because yeah. this, this is a real debate yeah because our jobs is to look at every aspect yeah and I love man I, man I don't even gotta say I love three niggas know what it is. I don't never got, and niggas know I never picked a side. 
I supposed to have been three DJ. I could have been. I could have got rich. I could have really got rich with three. And you know what? I said, hey man, you know what, bro? I'm cool with everybody. I can't do it. And you know what I'm saying? Me and three had words. Me and Ray had words about it. But at the end of the day, hey my. N that was my morals and my principles that I stood on because I knew coming in, everybody was cool and I'm going to push it to the element of it. So when it go left on this side, I got to sit there and just hold water. And when shit go left on this side, I got to sit there and hold water. You know how niggas say they can't play the fence? You only can play the fence when you know you true to the fence. Is there anything you feel like you left out when you was dealing with Mo3 that maybe could have helped defuse the situation at all? Nah, it ain't nothing. I mean, I mean, you did everything in your possible power. If you look back at the everybody, situation, everybody I'm did. not talking about everybody. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about for shit, so. Like, you see what I'm saying? So. But the catch is, one thing about it, bro, I, I, I do got to under, gotta understand and respect. My three was a real nigga. Did you see, uh, so, the, nah, good, did you see the Goody Mob uh, interview where he spoke on the Dallas? Because, first of all, Dallas was taking up the slack where Houston wasn't. Mm -hmm. And for... That whole Mo three thing, yeah, Leroy, like like I've been watching that shit from the little comedian. You know, I've been yeah, watching yeah, it from him. Yeah, yeah. To, to, to it's crazy. Little yeah. red, you know, they were having a little run. They were doing there. a good thing. And I'm looking, I'm like, now see, now y'all let a little bit of money up the big picture, right? And that's all I'm saying. Organized noise never let that happen. Mm -mm. Oh. It's, before we even get to that, Mo3 was a real nigga. His principles, what he stood on, he stood on those like, like a man. I can't be mad at a man standing on what he believe in. I can't be mad at Trap for standing on what he believe in. I can't be mad at Yellow for... These niggas was at my house, bro. Me and Trap, we talked about this shit while playing Madden at my house. Me and Three at my house. Talked about it while we playing Connect Four wow. and shooting jumpers in, uh, on my kids. Look, Fisher Price gold. Mm. We had those talks, and the catch is, it's, it's, it was beyond it was beyond repair. Terrible. Yeah, I hear you. But the catch is, we had those man to man talks. And I know, nigga, I was Miss Melvin and Kid talking. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, when I was talking to Trap them, it was real. We was we was having real solid conversation. Like, bro, like they never looked at me different because they all they could do was respect me more because they were like, damn, this whole ass nigga, he ain't even picking no sides. And they, they willing to, I can make money with them, or I can make one. I was like, I ain't making money with nobody. I go broke. I pick, I feel like y'all are the future. And we the future can't grow without all of y'all. And I still feel that way to this day. I still, I play a three song, a yellow song, a trap song. I stand on the wall for mother three. I stand on the wall for yellow. I stand on the wall for trap. But that's so the way when, it should be. When he had when he had that meeting, only thing I feel like yellow should have did more. He should have, he got to open up to the people, bro. But maybe that's not his character. And, and the catch is, and if it's not his character, you, one, but one thing about it, the people who love him, love him. Yeah. The people who don't love them, y'all didn't love them no way. Yeah, yeah. So I can't control the mother that never loved me to begin with. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe that's just his character. And, and I think if he just be true to himself, he'll be great. You know, I respect his music. Like I always tell people, I, I like his music. music before Because he, 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 was, he was melodic before this shit was cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. This I, I, I honestly think it's hard to battle somebody who has passed on and can't defend themselves and still making great music. Because I done heard the new Mo3 album. It's great music. Yellow got great music, but people are naturally going to pick a side. People are not just going to listen to both. They're going to naturally pick a side. And one thing about Yellow new music is fire. I'm talking about super dumb features on that bitch. Good music, and, 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 and he leading the song. He carrying the load. So I'm like, yeah, but I heard three shit. And that motherfucker still carrying a load. So it's like the culture for Dallas is so great. That's why most is steady chiming in to us. That shit was in 2021. Mm -hmm. And people still talking about it 2024. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.